Hello, welcome to this week's Screen Drama Cherry Blog. Uh, we're here this time, we've had another week uh, looking at writing, directing a scene, uh, and this is Keith Ingram. Yes. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, so, you were teaching your three point line. Uh, how important is uh, uh, lighting? Oh, is very important. This is, uh, it's maybe not as important as the script, and maybe not as important as uh, performances, but it can add a, a, a massive amount to film, quality wise, uh, you know, and also, uh, experience wise for when you're from the watching. It's not always easy to do good lighting though. Can you tell us about a time where it's like difficult to, to, to light something when you're on a job? Oh, almost every time. Yeah, because <laughs> you never if you're quite, if you're aiming for something that's always beyond your grasp, it's always difficult. So you never quite get to it being great. So you're always looking for more. So it's always you, know, you should always have a, a challenge. It always is. Uh, thank you very much. I think I, I, I think um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, it was just kind of. Yeah, obviously we learned some like better techniques kind of thing. It was also good to just kind of you know have a proper professional teach you how to do everything kind of thing. So no kind of cutting the fat or cheating by doing lots of silly things that I'd probably do on set. So it was really good. Uh, the guy was really nice and really knew what he was talking about. So that really helped and gave me a bit of confidence going on to actually light uh, you know for the actual film kind of thing. I and well, I, I was acting in the, the scene that they were lighting, so it was good to feel you know where the light is when you walk in to hit marks and all that sort of stuff. How, how was acting in the scene? You were you were playing uh, the part of Alex. Le Alex. 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 Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, no, I mean it was good. It was it was just really good to see like when a, a scene's getting lit, you know, how much waiting you've got to do about and um, how you feel the light and well, I, I came out of it like, with like uh, dots in my eyes, so that was something. To, like, we were all. Thanks. I thought it was fantastic. Every time I see a light and cameraman come in. Sorry, a lighting camera operator come in uh, and see what they're able to do when they s switch off the, the tyranny or the automatic uh, iris. Suddenly the whole thing comes to life. And to see Keith just taking uh, three lamps and turning quite a flat, dead scene into something that really had texture and authenticity was great. So you hope that perhaps from this, maybe we'll, we'll see a lot better lighting in the... Well, I hope so. Look, what have we done? We've talked about acting. We've talked about writing. We've talked about directing, we've talked about lighting, we've talked about sound. It's a very complex process bringing all these together. Everyone's got a brilliant film in their head, you know. I've seen Psycho, I could make Psycho 3, no I couldn't. But what we want to do is try and get that little five minute film that's in everyone's head and to put it up on the screen. And it's a technical process. It would be great if it was all art, but it's a technical process. So you have to learn those techniques. Now, whether it work or not... Essentially, the end product doesn't matter. What we want to do is to get people working together as a team and creating a film of some sort. And what we hope is that that will then feed through to students' individual uh, creative projects for their final year projects. Going through the process and leading to that. Yes. And that's great. And so we've, we've taken from the grand idea and got all the way down to say, do you know what, that could be slightly better, not by all these big things, but just simply taking the light slightly to the left and looking at the frame in the picture. Well, if, if you look at the whole process that we've gone through, we started off with pitching ideas. What was wrong with all the ideas? They were too big. People have great, great big ideas. And hopefully we've gone down, focused down, focused down, focused down. Depth, 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 depth. And we'll be able to create eight five-minute shorts that have a bit of depth, uh, a bit of technical ability, and hopefully will move us all with our stories and our narratives. Wonderful. So hopefully if we draw a conclusion, that's all going to come together. The proof of the pudding will be in the eating. The films are all getting shot in a fortnight's time. Uh, they'll be in uh, post-production most of December, and then they're all going to be there uh, around about the first week in January. And we'll be able to show them. We'll, we'll, we'll show them online to people. Can the see pressure's on. The heat is on. OK, thanks very much for your help today, Stuart. You're very friendly. <laughs> So that was week seven. Join us next week for the penultimate week as we get ready to go into production. Will we make it on time? Who knows?